So now in this video we have a circuit where we have an LED, a push button switch and when I press and hold the switch we just get a brief flash of the LED. So when we press the switch you can see that the capacitor charges this way through a 10 uh, kilo ohm resistor. It's only a 0.47 microfarad capacitor though. Now it also charges through the base 2 emitter right there of the NPN bipolar junction transistor we're using a 2N3904 once it gets uh, fully charged then current stops uh, flowing and thus there's no more current from base to emitter so while the current's flowing right when we press the switch then the transistor is on pretty much fully the current should be limited by the resistor and the LED but it's going to quickly come to an end as I said because this is a low value capacitor about half of a microfarad and uh, so once it's done charging, current stops, base to emitter, and thus current stops through the load, no matter how long we hold the switch. A little current's going to trickle to ground through that 100 uh, kilo ohm resistor as well. So now, as I said before, while the switch is uh, being closed, right when it's closed, the capacitor starts charging like that. And uh, at some point, uh, really rapid in this one, we have it where it's uh, pretty much 5 volts right there and 0 volts over here. We have that uh, capacitor to ground. That's while you're holding the switch down, you have that uh, connection. When you release it, that's when this other uh, resistor really is important right there. So you can see it heads to ground there. We have about 200,000 ohms of resistance there that the capacitor can discharge in. Actually, it would uh, go that way if you think of conventional current. And uh, we don't have this force on it anymore. We open it up. It's like this doesn't exist anymore. That's all we got is this connection right there. So that's how it quickly uh, discharges uh, through those two. But we have to open the switch first. And of course, once it discharges enough, we can uh, flash it again. And as you can see, we can go pretty uh, quick with this circuit.